Hi, I am Dr. Sridhar. Welcome to my channel. In this quick video, I will be discussing how you can go about counseling when a baby has sepsis and suspected meningitis and also how you can convince them for lumbar puncture. So this is a common scenario, especially in the neonatal period where uh, the threshold for LP is quite high and we have to rule out meningitis in any baby with suspected septicemia. So uh, unfortunately, this is a situation where the parents are very stressed and we need to make sure that we show empathy. We have an empathic approach to communicating. So first, uh, express your concern that the baby is unwell. Baby has suspected serious infection, which can be in the bloodstream. Then you explain to them why the infection doesn't stay in one place in the baby because of the immune factors not being fully developed the blood stream infection can spread to other areas and especially to the brain. Uh, we all always uh, know that the brain is important for development and for the future uh, well-being of the child. So we can explain to them that uh, infection around the brain, if it does happen, is very serious. And you explain to them why the difference is there between the duration of treatment. If there is in sepsis, you may treat for 10 to 14 days while for meningitis you may have to treat closer to 21 days. The reason being that the infection around the brain is difficult to clear and also the seriousness of the problem is more. If the baby uh, does need a lumbar puncture, you have to explain to them about the process. You have to reassure them that it's a relatively simple technique except that you need to position the baby and uh, there is a chance of not succeeding in the effort because the baby is very small. Uh, you explain to them what you look for in the lumbar puncture so that they are convinced that they have to agree and the importance of the diagnosis obviously we explained earlier you stressed that as well if the baby does turn out to have meningitis obviously it's much more nerve-wracking for the parents because there is a risk of future neurodevelopmental impairment in any case you have to focus on what the current neurological picture of the baby is because the outcome is often related to that even if the baby has meningitis, if the baby is neurologically normal, it's likely that the baby will have a better outcome than if the baby already has fits or has a neurological con concerns. So you have to tell them uh, the con concerns that there is a future neurodevelopmental problem uh, which can happen in these babies. You have to tell them how we monitor these babies, how we can support them with daily developmental care so the risk of this happening is not uh, significant. And you also have to tell them that we have to be optimistic in our approach because we cannot predict the future. You may have to tell them the role of the imaging as well in this situation. Uh, the last point that is very important to stress is no one has a crystal ball to know the future. It's very important that we stay positive, uh, be aware that there is a risk, but at the same time be cautiously optimistic. So the stress is on uh, making the parents aware of the risk making sure they are convinced that the lumbar puncture is necessary as well as once a diagnosis is made, the treatment duration is essential because that often makes them frustrated if it's a long course of treatment. Uh, and finally, you may have to stress on the importance of uh, early developmental uh, support and uh, need for monitoring of the development of the baby. Thank you. I hope this helps.